Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Hip Kit Club process video for you. I've shared this earlier in the week at Hip Kit Club, but I also wanted to share it here on my YouTube channel. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a sketch that I designed for a sketch challenge that we did earlier in the month of April. I never had a chance to use that sketch myself, and so I'm going to incorporate it into my assignment today. Now, also along with this assignment, I'm supposed to focus on one of the products from the March kits and one thing I really love about the March kits are the exclusives by Hip Kit Club so I'm going to be focusing on the Harmony paper collection and all of the beautiful pattern papers of course in this collection as I put this layout together today now you're going to see that I'm going to follow my sketch very loosely my sketch features three photos there's a square photo a rectangle photo the title and then another square photo I'm going to be moving my title down below my photo but I'm going to keep it in the general area however I'm going to not have three photos I'm just going to have one long rectangular photo and then on either side of that photo I'm going to place some square elements to represent those two square photos so um, I my idea was to use the square chipboard frames from the embellishment kit so that's where I'm headed with this now let me tell you a bit about the pattern papers that I'm using here for the background that polka dot paper with the pink droplets on it oh it's so pretty that is called glass marble that's my background and then I'm using the um, cardstock kit actually the blue paper that's called bubblegum to map my photo and then I also added that to the top and bottom of that pink mixed media paper that pink mixed media paper is called forgotten wishes and then on the top and bottom of that, you can see I've added some black and white striped paper. That paper is called Library Visit. So here's where I'm starting. Now behind my photo, I wanted to add a few more layers. So I pulled out the Pocket Life Kit that has a lot of these beautiful patterns, the same Harmony pattern pa patterns in a smaller scale. So I cut out three of the three by six cards there and just layered them up behind my photo. And I really like how this is looking. Now this the fun thing about this pattern paper is that you have the really soft colors but then you have this pop of bold black so that's one of the reasons why I pulled in that the black and white stripe and then also I know that I'm going to be using a black title um, from the embellishments and other elements so the title I chose to go with is just that today word and that is from the simple story sticker book that is in the embellishment kit now you can see that I started arranging my square frames there and instead of just having them open or filling them with more pattern paper I wanted to do something kind of cool so I pulled out the stencil from the February kit and I'm embossing some vellum with it now I have this uh, I have several die cutting machines, but here I'm using the Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine. And when you buy that machine, you get a cutting mat, you know, several different mats. And one of them is kind of like a rubbery mat, and then there's different thicknesses. The purple one that plate that you saw there is the embossing mat. So what you can do is you can place a piece of paper in there with like a stencil or something, and as you run it through, it presses that paper into the pattern, and then you get an embossed effect. Now, I used a really thin velvet. I probably should have used like a thicker cardstock weight vellum, but this is just the first thing I grabbed. And when I did that, it kind of tore the paper along the pattern, but I figured once it was down, you're not really going to see it. And I'm going to layer several embellishments on top of it anyway. So I'm just having fun, you know, filling these frames and now I'm going to layer them together. Uh, since one single frame didn't quite fill up the height of the spaces on either side of my photo, that is why I decided to layer two of them together. And I actually think it's really fun. I love the effect that that has. So even though my sketch doesn't have patterned paper layers behind the photo, I'm gonna go ahead and add them just because I think it will anchor this and also it will add some definition between um, the polka dot background and then as I start adding in the other elements, that green paper will kind of help those to pop and anchor those. So on my sketch to the right there, you can see that I have some circles there that are representative of some embellishments. And I thought I would use the butterflies from the kit to do that. So 
I'm doing a mixture of the Simple Stories butterflies that were in the Life in Bloom sticker book. And then I'm also fussy cutting out several from the Kaleidoscope paper from the Harmony collection. So I, I roughly you know, laid those out how I thought they would go. I took a quick, quick snapshot with my cell phone and now I'm going to actually add in some more f like some fussy cut florals and then come back with the butterflies later. So this paper is called the Vintage Blooms paper and it is stunning. I love these bright colors against that bold black background and it just looks so pretty with the bold uh, black title. And then of course that black and white stripe that I have going already. So I'm just having fun arranging these. I used one of the largest clusters along the top and I thought I would do a small cluster along the bottom, but I just, I just can't help myself. Like I've got to put a ton of these flowers. So <laughs> I grab another one of the large clusters and I'm going to place that under the left edge as well. So I'm going to work with these flowers for a little bit because um, now that I have these large pieces in place, I'm going to come back in with some of the smaller pieces and just fill them out. You can see I'm, I'm adding, adding in these little stems here. Um, I'll add in uh, some of the pink flowers along the left edge of the photo just to repeat that pink color that was happening in the top cluster and I'll keep working here. So while I'm adding these little pieces here, I'll just tell you quickly about this photo and this memory. This is um, my, this is all four of my kids together and my daughter, my oldest daughter, she's the third one from the left. She is in college at this point. This was back in 2018. And she had decided to take a study abroad trip to England. And that's something she'd always dreamed of. And and she's she's kind of, you know, not a super brave person to go off out on her own. So this was a really big step for her. And she saved for it for a really long time. Now, before she left, of course, we had to go out to eat as a family. And she chose to go to her favorite restaurant restaurant one last time you know well before so she could just savor it because she'd be away for three months anyway they were being silly they were being goofy and they were just all four sitting across from us and I just snapped this quick picture my last daughter there has a silly goofy grin on her face and I always warn them you know but they still make goofy faces and photos and I'm like okay you're gonna be in the scrapbooks like this and you're gonna be online like this and they're fine with it they're they're you know, they're easy going. So anyway, that's what this photo is about. Now that I have all the flowers arranged, I'll come back in with these beautiful butterflies. Again, you can see I'm mixing the Simple Stories ones along with the ones that I fussy cut from the kaleidoscope paper. And I love the different styles of them. I, look, I think they look so pretty here. Now, one thing I hadn't planned on, but was kind of a happy accident, is you can see that the yellow flowers and the yellow butterflies kind of line up in a diagonal flow across the page. And I, I was like, wow, that is awesome how that happened. And I'm sure, you know, in the back of my design brain, it was just seeing that that looked good there. But, you know, that, that color flow along that line, that diagonal line, really helps your eye to travel through that page. So if you are working with embellishments and you're not sure what color to work with, you know, maybe look for a diagonal flow or so, a color that you can repeat. Uh, I went ahead and put capped off that top of the green paper with that branding strip. That's from, I think the, um, let's see, what paper is that from? Impressions paper. So that goes there. And then now I'm, um, I decided to bring in one of the teeny tiny square frames, the one that looks like a postage stamp, the pink one. And I decided to add that to the left of the title. I added a little bit of vellum inside of that, like I did with the other ones. And I was looking for something to put in the middle of it. I thought I might put one of those chipboard circles, but it didn't quite feel right. So I pulled out the die cuts. Um, I didn't find anything in the die cuts, but while I was in the die cuts, I found those two green phrases that I added to the top left corner of the photo. So what I finally decided to place in that frame there, that little postage stamp frame, was a, a mini um, heart that I used, uh, a die cut from the mango puff cardstock. So I just got out the nested hearts dies from February and that worked great. And then I added one of the chipboard hearts from the Brads on top of that heart. And I love that layered look. So because I added that heart to the middle of the frame, I decided to sprinkle some hearts around the page. I just had a few hearts left because I had used most of them on my layouts throughout the month. So I'm just sprinkling those around the butterflies. I will pop up that newsprint one at the top. And then um, 
this this page is looking really good. Now on my sketch, I had some pattern paper strips all across the top and bottom of the page, and I wasn't going to add more strips onto this, but I thought, you know what? I wanna follow this sketch as closely as possible, so instead of doing a strip of pattern paper, I'll just create a little cluster up here in the um, top left corner. So I found these ticket stickers in the sticker book. I added them to some cardstock just to make them a bit thicker and fussy cut those out and now I'm just adhering them to the top of the page. Now I think it was Carrie uh, in one of her videos she used this film strip sticker on its side as just a layer and I thought oh I'm gonna do what Carrie did. I think that will look really pretty up there. So I added a little sliver of that up with the tickets and then I'll add the other piece down to the bottom right corner of the page just to repeat that black. And then again you kind of have that diagonal flow. It's almost like um, an X shape through the page. So to anchor those clusters at the top and bottom, I'm going to add some decorative brads. I also added a brad to the heart, to the left of the um, title there. And I love the little shine that it adds. Now, after I did this, I thought that these these layered clusters that I just added in might need a little bit more. And because I put blue in the center of the page where I matted my photo with it, I thought, okay, maybe I'll pull out these mixed media stamps and add just a little swash of blue. I had some vellum there sitting on my table from earlier, and I thought I'll just stamp a couple of these and then I'll be able to hold it up and see what I if I like it. And I go, oh yeah, I like that. So <laughs> I'm gonna peel up this little cluster I just made at the top and I will go ahead and stamp that. Now after I stamp it there, it's, it's, um, I thought to myself, well, why didn't I just fussy cut out the vellum ones and put it there? And so, um, because I added blue to this little cluster, I'm gonna add blue to the one at the bottom. And instead of lifting it all up and stamping it, I'm just going to fussy cut it out of the vellum and, um, place it there at the bottom. Now it, was, it wasn't it was drying very well because you know vellum is kind of a slick surface and so I had to dab it off a little bit with my paper towel. And when I did that, it, it, not, it lightened the ink, but also because it's on vellum, the ink looked a little bit lighter. And I actually liked it lighter. And so I thought, well, how can I make that paint swash at the top look lighter? So I decided to just cut some vellum and layer it on top and kind of mute it almost like a film over it to just kind of mute that blue color at the top so that's what i'm doing there so i'm kind of being fussy and finicky but and it wasn't my plan but it actually worked out pretty well and i liked that the colors looked closer together now you know that i'm not this huge mixed media person i'm just i'm just not this really big brave person but on that black and white polka dot background paper there's these beautiful like ink droplets that are printed in the pattern and they're up in the t that top left corner by the cluster there if you can see them and I thought ooh, wouldn't it be cool if I could like add a couple of blue ones but I was kind of freaked out and kind of scared to do this but I thought you know what I'm gonna follow the lead of my fellow design team members I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna do this so I just placed some of that um blue ink, the oh boy ink from the color kit onto my acrylic block. You saw that there. I spritzed it with some water just to make it nice and runny and drippy. And then I tested it out just on a piece of white cardstock and I actually liked it. So I decided I'm gonna go for it. So I went ahead and just drop, you know, dripped that on my page and it worked out. I was so brave and I was so proud of myself. So the cool thing about mixed media is even though it freaks me out, when it works out, you kind of feel like a rock star. So there you go. I had this one little last B sticker hanging out, so I decided to place that to the right of my title. And then I'm using the January Pocket Life date stamp to just add the date here. And then that will finish out my page. I also did add a little piece of yellow ticket down on that bottom right cluster as well. I think I did that off camera. So as we take one last look at the sketch and the details of the page, um, I'll just remind you that again, this is the beautiful Harmony Collection from Hip Kit Club found in the March kits. I have my April kits, so I will be sharing some layouts with that soon. And they are gorgeous. I can't wait to play with them. All right, guys, if you're not a subscriber, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you have any questions about this project or if you have any requests that you would like to see from me. I always appreciate you stopping by. I hope you have a fantastic week. See you next time.